Now let's talk about the newest bo- animes in Mel- animes in Meltdown box office failure. Well, that movie is called Onward. This movie, throughout the past two weeks, has made quite a story throughout the mainstream media. The mainstream media kept calling this the best Pixar movie because it's the most progressive Pixar movie. Even though there's only one gay reference in the movie, okay? It's... But again, Onward is bombing. Onward is failing at the box office. Okay, it's supposed to dominate the domestic box office by a very small amount of margin of 40 million, okay? A very small margin, okay? When you have Disney movies like the Lion King remake, which is now a garbage movie, passing 100 million domestically, okay? It seems that Disney's reign of trying to get millions of people to go see the garbage is over. And Onward is only going to open with a measly 2 million. Do you know this movie? Opened higher than Onward? Well, I'm going to tell you. Sonic the Hedgehog. Yes, a Pixar movie is going to open worse than the Sonic movie, okay? The Sonic movie is making more money than Onward, okay? I remember that one, you know, it was on, like, the box office flops over, you know, they were talking about, you know, Cows, I think it was Cows Free or something. And it said, but Onward and Soul will make bank at the box office. Well, now it isn't. It's projected to be one of the worst openings for a Pixar movie ever. Okay. And we have the worst openings here. Coco, which came out during the holidays. So it had the holiday legs behind it. Girls Free, which also bombed. And A Good Dinosaur, which also bombed. Okay. Coco is the only exception here. Okay. Because Coco opened during the holiday and the holiday weekend. So that means Coco's, and actually, if you include the holiday weekend, Coco's opening was around 70 million as a whole. So, yeah, Coco didn't bomb at the box office either. It also overperformed really greatly in Mexico. Not Mexico, China. It did overperform in China, but Mexico. But it was eventually beaten by Endgame. So, yeah, Endgame beat Coco, and Me- a movie about Mexico was beaten by Endgame. This is always how big Endgame was, but yeah, Coco overperformed in China massively, and the other movies that have came out that are out is Sonic and the Invisible Man, and there's also a Ben Affleck movie. Oh great, and Ben Affleck again, why is he still in movies? You know, Ben Affleck, this, he's just not a good actor, no way, he's, you know, He's one of the worst of the worst, okay? But Onward is projected to box, fail at the box office. Onward's only opening of 2 million. 2 million, okay? And people was, and of course, the Disney album, besides the 40 million opening, is from all the Disney fanboys who was out to see it just because it had the Disney logo, it had the Pixar logo on it. Pixar isn't the company that used to, get, that used to deliver storytelling gold anymore, okay? The, the movie started to die off after Cows 2. Yes, Cows 2. Which I, don't, which I personally don't hate, but a lot of people do. The movie seemed to have gotten worse since the, twi- since the, the 2010s. And, it's, you know, and they seem to have started losing the magic after the mouse bought them. But that's all subjective, so yeah. They seem to start losing the magic around 2014 to 2014. When most people start realizing how brand new a Pixar movies are. So yes, Pixar is a dying is dying, and they start especially dying after 2017, after The Incredibles 2, despite being a mediocre movie grossing 1.2 billion, and and Toy Story 4 grossing 1 billion, even though it didn't really deserve to, and there are much more deserving movies of passing a billion dollars than the Disney logo, Dis- Pixar logo, Disney cover version, a uh, sequel to Toy Story 3 that nobody wanted. But apparently, because of all the Disney fanboys, because somehow Disney can make all these people go out and see these these garbage movies, well, yeah, that's how it is. That's basically it. Goodbye.